What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm so excited about this. I actually kind of forgot that I got it until I was editing my recent vlog, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have this box, I need to open it. So in this video, I'm very excited to be opening the 2018 summer, the Knit Box, yes! This is one of my favorite boxes, just in general, that I have on my channel, but in general. You guys know that I'm a huge Nickelodeon fan, and I absolutely love this box. It's a quarterly box made by Culturefly. Culturefly is a company that just makes a bunch of different quarterly boxes, and the Nick Box is one that they came out with, I don't actually know how long ago. Anyways, this is the summer box, and the theme, I think, is like some kind of like summer camp theme, which is super exciting as well. And yeah, if you're interested in getting this box, I will go and put all the pricing details in the description below for you. It was actually wrapped in plastic, but I unwrapped it. So there's probably no tape, nope. So once you unwrap the plastic and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. And what fell out of here is probably the spoiler card. Oh, I won't look at it. I wanna be super surprised because I haven't seen any spoilers at all for this box and I want to be surprised. Yes, yes. Ooh, okay, let's see. I love their box, like it's so cool. I hope they have Salute Your Shorts in here. Oh, I almost knocked a bunch of boxes over. Okay, ready? Let's do this. The first item, oh, I broke it, I broke it, I broke it. Wow, I totally broke that. Um, the first item that we have is this hat. Now all of these items in this box, just so you know, they're all gonna be licensed and they're all gonna be exclusive. So we have this blue hat. It's it's like a, it, this is, looks like a hat that like campers would wear at camp. So it has the Nickelodeon, well it says Nickelodeon on it, but it has the little fire symbol from um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Well. That's what I'm gonna say. It might just be like technically like summer camp and fire, but it kind of looks like the silhouette of the Are You Afraid of the Dark fire. Um, the back, it's adjustable and it has a metal buckle, so it's not Velcro or anything like that. This almost kind of looks like a dad cap, sort of, like a, you know, I don't know, but this seems like something that kids would actually wear at summer camp. I'm not gonna put this on because I think it might be a little bit too small for my head. I have a really big head and it's a little bit short for me. But I like the style. I actually think it's a cool hat. I just don't know how much I would wear. Okay. Next we, oh. Oh, am, oh my gosh. I am so excited for this for two reasons. You guys know I just got a house and I actually need one of these because I don't have one and I keep forgetting to buy it. But this is like what I need times like a million, how the coolness factor, you guys. <gasps> What is this? This is amazing. This is a bottle opener from Rocket Power. It says Shore Shack on it. You guys know, there's no shoebies. I love Rocket Power. It is one of my favorite Nicktoons. Rocket Power, oh my gosh. This is the freaking coolest. I needed a bottle opener in my house. I don't have one. This one, I am like trying to figure out where I'm gonna put this. I am so excited. I'm definitely gonna put this on the wall, like, this is so freaking cool. Are you guys joking? Oh my gosh. Oh, this might be one of the best, like, items I've ever received from a box. <sighs> this is so freaking cool. Okay, I'm like, so excited. This made the box for me already, honestly. Like, that is, so cool, so unique, and so perfect. It's so perfect. Ah. Okay, next we have a water bottle, and this is our Salute Your Shorts item. This is a very simple water bottle, right? It's yellow with a maroon top, and it says Camp Onawana on it. If you guys are an old school Nickelodeon fan, you guys will obviously get that reference because I just told you that it's from Salute Your Shorts. But you'll then in your mind start thinking or start singing, Camp Onawana, we hold you in our hearts. And when we think about you, it makes me wanna. Anyways, so we have a water bottle. Pretty straightforward. It's very simple. It's just a simple little water bottle. Ah, oh, yeah. 
You guys, this box is so perfect for me. Oh my gosh. We got a pack of playing cards. And it was so funny because I was just talking to somebody about how everybody, like we needed a pack of playing cards at work and we didn't have one. I was like, that's so crazy. Everyone should have a pack of playing cards. And then I stopped and I was like, wait a second. I don't even have a pack of playing cards in this house specifically. I have them in my other house, but it's like, I need to get a pack of playing cards because you just never know. They, they come in handy. I'm going to open these because I'm 100% planning on keeping these. On this little box, there's just a bunch of different nicknames you have. You have Rocco, you have Cat Dog, you have um, Chucky and Gerald and French Toast Man and, and Arnold and Helga and just a bunch of different characters. Let's go ahead and open these up and see. Sometimes cards are really cool and sometimes they can be a little bit boring depending on how they wanted to put the design. So on the back design, you have the fire logo as well. And let's check these out. Jokers are like from their, their old school commercials. Okay, so these are a little bit boring, I will be honest. They're not the greatest. We've gotten cards where like every card has a cool design. Basically in these cards, the ace has characters. So there's Norbert and, and Daggett. And then when you hit the Jack, you've got Cat Dog. Oops, sorry. The, the focus though, the focus though. You've got Angelica, and then you've got Rocco. And on the next set of cards, we have Reggie and Otto for the ace. You have the creepy person from All Real Monsters, which I can't remember what that person's name is. You got Helga as the queen. And then you have, oh my gosh, this is like testing all my knowledge. Nigel, Nigel from the Wild Thornberries. You got Arnold and Gerald on the ace. And then you have What's her name? Is it Liza or Eliza? Eliza Thornberry and the monkey, which I can't remember. And then you have Oblina, and then you have French Toastman. And then we have Ren and Stimpy on the next set. These are the spades. And then on the jack, you've got Tommy, Queen. You've got uh, the older sister from Wild Thornberry. And then we have Crumb. Crumb. Okay, that's weird that they didn't put Ickis. Why wasn't Ickis on any of these? Like, Ickis is like the main dude. Okay, he's not the main dude, but he's basically the main dude. So, um, it's a cool deck of cards, but it's not the coolest deck of cards. If we're being honest, I will say that we've received cooler deck of cards, so, but it's still cool. Like, you can never go wrong with a deck of cards. Everyone needs a deck of cards. All right, next we have whatever this is. It's some kind of inflatable, is it a ball? A beach ball? It's a beach ball that has two blow up edges. <gasps> okay, I wanna blow this up. <laughs> the kids can play with this when they come over. Oh, it smells heavily of chemicals. Okay, the reason I wanna blow this up, I'm not done yet, but it intrigued me that there was two blow up things and I looked inside and this is why there's two. So the reason I wanna blow it up is because there was two blow-up sections. I was like, why is there? And I looked inside and I saw a reptar. So this is a beach ball that has a cityscape and then inside there's a little reptar. How cool is that? How cool is that? I wonder if reptar makes this ball not as beach ball-y, like if it makes it bottom heavy. But this is a really cool beach ball. I'm such a fan. I think it's cool and I'm excited actually to have this in my house because the kids keep coming over and I don't really have anything fun and I feel like they could potentially play with this and it's not a balloon, which I enjoy. Okay, let's do these figures before we do these clothing items. The, we got two figures this month, which I think is interesting. I don't know how I feel about that because I like figures, but with like the creativity they have with some of these items, I'm almost like, dang, I wish they would have given us just one figure and been a little bit more creative in, in some other item because I love the items that we get from this box. Where's my knife? Here it is. Okay, so the first item that we got is this. This is a vinyl figure of Rocco. And it looks like he's going camping. We're gonna go ahead and take this out of the box and see what it looks like. It's called Camping Rocco Vinyl Figure as seen in Hut Set Raw. So that must be the episode name. This vinyl figure is very heavy. Very, very heavy. Oh, I love it. Okay, I love it. Rocco's not my favorite Nicktoon, but I absolutely love this figure. I like the detail. It has actually really good detail and it's, it's painted pretty nicely. So this is the figure. It's Rocco and he's got his whole backpack on. 
and it's a very, it's actually fairly heavy, a lot heavier than, it's very dense. You can tell it's dense based off the weight, but this is a lot heavier than like our normal vinyl figures, like our, our Funko Pops and whatnot. Specifically, I think his backpack is actually really heavy, but this is a cool little vinyl figure for sure. That's neat. One of the cool things is they actually make their own vinyl figures. Like, they, you know, Culture Fly actually like creates all these items. So I just think it's another another fun part of the, of this box and, and what and the stuff that they give in the box. And then we have another. It's technically not a figure. It's a bobblehead, but I consider that a figure. We have a Helga bobblehead. That's what the box looks like. Pretty straightforward in the packaging specifically, but let's go ahead and open this one and see what it looks like. Okay, this is like another vinyl figure. It's pretty straightforward. This one's not as dense as the as the Rocco figure, but you have a Helga you have a Helga bobblehead, and you can see the bobble in her. And this is a very this is cool too. I actually have a giant Arnold bobblehead, so I would like to put them next to each other because I think it would be funny looking. And she's got pretty good bobbling action. Just so you guys know, it's Wednesday morning and it just hit 7.30 and I was successful. You guys will know what I'm talking about if you watch my channel a lot. Okay, so this is Helga, a Helga bobblehead. Uh, I like the Rocco figure better. It's funny because I actually like Helga or I like Hey Arnold better than like Rocco's Modern Life. But specifically figure wise, I actually prefer the Rocco figure. Um, to the Helga figure. I like the weight that it has to it. I just think it's a little bit more detailed. I just, in general, I think it's an overall better figure. But this is cool. Like, this isn't bad. It's, you know, it's a little Helga bobblehead. Okay, now on to what looks like the two clothing items. We're gonna do, uh, since we usually do the shirt last, we'll do this item, which isn't a shirt, but it's some kind of clothing item. Um, it's uh, maybe pants or shorts or something. Shorts. <laughs> Perfect for the Salute Your Shorts. I'm assuming these are Salute Your Shorts reference. Yes, they are. So these are like, they're interesting like shorts, right? They're kind of like silky. They kind of remind me of like boxers, I suppose. But they are Salute Your Shorts themed. It says Camp on Water. This is the same design that's on the water bottle. And again, they're kind of like a goldish yellow with a maroon strap. And we have our tag. Um, I got them, I, well, I got my box in size medium, so I'm assuming these are probably medium shorts. They didn't have an option to change. Oh, these are one size. Really, one size? They are pretty elastic -y, so they stretch really well, but apparently these are one size fits all, so we shall see. I could actually put them on over my shorts now, because I definitely could see these being one size fits all. Can you guys see them? There's no pockets. They're very like silky. I actually like these, like I think these are probably good lounging shorts like around the house. They are quite long. So they are one size fits all of course, but obviously the length, like if you're taller, they're probably gonna be shorter. And for me, I'm, a, I'm not as tall. So they go almost to my knees, but they're still cool and they're very stylish. Okay, so we got our shorts. So the last item we have in the box is our shirt and we got a men's medium. It's kind of like a beige tan shirt, off white, I don't know what you call it. And it has, it definitely has a blue strip on the collar. So I'm wondering if this is gonna have one of those like, the stripes around the sleeve, but let's check it out. It does, it does, it does, it does. It does, it does, it does, it does. I know that's not, not how it goes, but. Okay, so there's the design. Hopefully you can see it, because I can't actually see if you can see it. It says Camp Nick, summer 2018. I love this, it's a very rustic shirt. The design is not super in your face. It's actually fairly simplistic. I like how they didn't color in the characters. It looks like a, like a legitimate classic camp shirt. And what characters are on it? You've got Arnold and Rocco and Daggett and uh, Ren and Stimpy cat dog. So just some a few of the characters and you've got like the little green splat slime in the back. And then it's it's like an old school camp shirt because you've got the little blue strip on the collar and also the blue strip on the sleeves. So I'm wondering if you're supposed to wear these together. They don't match very well. Like could you imagine if your camp outfit was this? Like this shirt with these shorts? That would be so interesting. I would totally rock it. Okay, that is all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. Let me grab this card. 
So here's our recap card. And let's do this, I got my calculator. Okay, so the first item we have is our shirt. Now, normally I give shirts, I, I usually give shirts uh, $12 if they're licensed. This one is definitely a $12 shirt. I actually would say that this could potentially be a little bit more. I wouldn't mind giving this shirt 15. And the reason I say that is because you can get Nick shirts from Target and stuff, but this is a pretty unique shirt. I don't think you would find a shirt like this at like a Target or a Sears or anything of that sort or JCPenney, whatever. So I think you could give that 15. I'll, I'm gonna stick with my consistent pricing of 12 with the thought process that I wouldn't mind giving that 15. We had our one size fits all shorts. These are Camp Anawana Novelty Boxer Shorts. Okay, so they are boxer shorts. They feel like boxer shorts, they're very silky. Um, I would just wear them as lounging shorts, so I don't mind them, but I can imagine that not being the best item for everyone. Cool shorts, I would probably say that you could give those anywhere from eight to $10. They're fairly simple. I'm not a huge fan of the one size fits all thing, just because, I don't know, is, I feel like sometimes one size doesn't really all fit all. I don't think that's a, like a re like I don't know. That's just my take on it. But I wouldn't mind giving those. Let's give those nine dollars. Let's give those nine dollars. We had our camp hat. This is our bumper logo cap. Um, they called oh bumpers. So they called the little commercials. They used to do bumpers. That's right. And I want to say there was like an orange fire bumper commercial thing. Um, this hat is cool, I ripped the tag off, my bad, my bad, but there was a tag on it. I always like with these items that they give you tags, because if, if I don't want to keep this, I can give this as a gift and it doesn't look like I just wore the hat, you know what I mean? So I would say that this hat, you could give the hat $10. I think that might be a little bit much for the style of hat, um, but it is embroidered in the patch thing is embroidered, it's not like a print on, so I think that definitely increases the value. Um, why don't we, we'll go ahead and give it $10. I think between that and the shorts, it can even itself out. Okay, next we had our Rocco vinyl figure. I love this vinyl figure, and I would 100% give this $10. I don't know if this figure is worth $15. I think that might be a little bit high. I would say the highest I would give it is maybe in the $12 range, but I think $10 is fair. Usually I do give exclusive figures 15. Why don't we go ahead and give it 12? I'm gonna give this one 12, because I think that I like this figure a lot. I really like the detail, and I like the, just the quality of the figure. The Helga figure is a little bit different for me. I think that you at most could give this $10. I'm more thinking around the $8 range. It's a lot smaller. It's not as like, oomph. it doesn't have as much oomph to it, you know? And it's, it's still cool. It's still cool, don't get me wrong. It's just not as cool as the Rocco figure. That's probably one of the reasons that you have to be careful about giving two figures, is that if they're not comparable, then it's, it's it shows the shortcoming of one figure versus the other. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and give this $8 with the thought that you could potentially give that up to 10. We have our deck of cards. I think the deck of cards, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna give this $3. I would give it $5 if the designs were a little bit better, but I know that I've um, seen and purchased, and you guys have purchased for me, like the Funko cards from like the $5 down below shop or whatever it's called, and those, are, those have better designs on all the cards. So this is just pretty much a simple deck of cards. So I'm gonna give it $3. We had our Rugrats Reptar Beach Ball. I love this beach ball. I love how creative they got with it. You know, they I'm glad they didn't just give us, they could have just given us a regular beach ball with characters. I wouldn't have minded that either. But this one is cool that it has Reptar inside of it. It's unique. Um, I would say that you could probably give this beach ball $5. I wish the packaging was a little bit better. You know, they tag and package everything else really, really well. So I wish that they would have done the same with the beach ball. We have our Camp Anawana sports bottle. Very simple sports bottle. It's nothing too crazy. I would say that this is probably anywhere from three to five dollars, and I think four dollars is fair for that. The last item we have, which is 100% my favorite item in this box, is the Rocket Power Shore Shack bottle opener. This is Honestly, I, you know, and, and I say this all the time, but this is probably one of the coolest items that I've ever received in a box. It, it is a little bit rusty on the nail, so I'll have to either change that out and or maybe, I think that might be the look that they're going for. I'm not 100% sure, but this item is so unique and it's so perfect. Like, I love Rocket Power. I just got a house. I need a bottle opener. It's just so freaking cool, you guys. Like. I 100% would say with confidence that this is one of the coolest items that I've received. So I absolutely love this. And I think that you could, 
I would easily pay $10 for this. Honestly, I would probably pay $15 for this. Honestly, I'd probably pay $20 for this, but that's just because I really like it. I think that $10 to $15 is fair for this. It's very unique. You will not find this in the stores. It's not anything that you would find just like at Hot Topic or Box Lunch or anything like that. So I would say that um, I definitely want to give it 10. Honestly, I want to give it 15, and I think I'm going to give it 15 just because. I'm going to give this 15. Same thing with this one though. I wish the packaging was a little bit better if they had put it in a box or something, but I'm not planning on giving this away, so it doesn't really matter to me. The only downfall I would say is that I wish that this came with like the screws or the nails. I'm assuming I'm supposed to use nails because these little holes are pretty small, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to look into that because I don't want to break it, obviously. This is something I definitely don't want to break. So this is a very, very cool item. I almost wish that I would have gotten two of these boxes because then I could, I don't know, because you know how excessive I am. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box was worth $78. I don't know if I price things a little bit higher. I love this box and sometimes I know that can make my pricing a little bit biased. So there's two different pricings with this box. If you get the quarterly subscription, it's I think $57. I'm gonna double check that. $57, if you get the annual, which is what I have, it comes up to be $53 a box. So I'm gonna go based off the $53 price point, which means I got $25 extra value. For a $53, so for a $50 box, we're usually looking for about $15 extra value. For a $53 box, I would say maybe, you know, $17 extra value, and we got 25. So we definitely hit our extra value, what we're looking for. If you bought the $57 option, the quarterly option, you're probably looking for almost around $20 extra value. So either way, no matter which, which subscription you have with them, I still think this box is worth it, especially if you are a true Nickelodeon fan. It's a great, great box. So I can't talk highly enough about this box, especially again, if you're a Nickelodeon fan. That's the one thing though, it's like the, the boxes they come with are very specialized. So you have to check out, you can check out their website, their main site to see all the different boxes because they have a DC box, they have a Pusheen box, they have the Nick box, they have a, um, they have a, a, a Supernatural box. So they have different boxes, they have a lot of different boxes out there so you should check it out to see if there's like a specific theme that you really like. But this is one of my favorite boxes that I have on my channel just in general because it totally calls for me. Like I love Nickelodeon so much, it's so great. <sighs> All right, if I had to rate this box, I would give this box a five out of five noobs. I absolutely love this box. Um, there's some items that I wasn't a huge fan of, but there was other items that I was, honestly, I'll be 100% honest, I feel like I love this item enough that I was gonna give this box a five out of five noobs anyways, no matter what. But I like the Rocco figure, I like the beach ball, I like the shirt. The hat's cool, I don't think it'll fit my head, but the hat is cool. And then the shorts are comfy, I like the shirt. So I like enough, I, honestly, I just think I like the value and I like the items. I like enough of the items to make this box just awesome. And it came in this awesome, nice box too. I really like the box as well. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five noobs. You have to, just disclaimer, I'm, I'm biased because I love Nickelodeon so much. Like li literally they probably could've just put this in the box and I would've been like, this is amazing, this is worth $55. This is a five out of five noobs. So you have to take it for what it's worth. Alright guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more boxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? What are your favorite items? Um, hands down 100%, this is my favorite item. What did you guys think of this? For those of you who are Rocket Power fans like me, uh, this is like, especially if you're an adult, like if you're an adult Rocket Power fan, this is like, a dream. I wish I just had a home goods box that came with stuff like this. I would die. It would be amazing. But let me know what your thoughts are down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you will make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which I'm not quite sure if it's coming up or not. So be on the lookout for that. Not sure. But before we go, we must do the video shout out. I'm dying by how excited I am about this box, you guys. Oh my god. Gosh, ugh. Today's video shout's gonna go to Jerry Millet. Jerry Millet, you get the video shout out. I think I might have given you a video shout in the past. I don't really remember, but you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. You left me a really, really nice, a really nice comment, and I just, I don't know. I was reading it, and it was just like, it was cool. And you were talking to also about litter boxes, which I totally was intrigued by because. I know it's not like a normal topic that people talk about litter boxes, but it's if you have a cat, it's such a normal thing. It's like it's such a 
I'm sure I'm not the only one. Like, I'm embarrassed to say, like, oh yeah, Mac, when he gets mad, he poops right next to the litter box. But like, I think it's like a normal thing sometimes with cats. Maybe not, I don't really know. But um, Jerry, I just wanna say thank you for your super nice and caring and thoughtful comment. I appreciate it greatly. And I wanna give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Jerry Millette. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.